We begin here at 5 o'clock with developing news. Dozens of people in southwest Bakersfield are without water tonight after the well ran dry at their mobile home park. 17's Moses Small is in studio now with more. Moses. Tammy, people living in the Del Rancho Mobile Home Village in southwest Bakersfield have been living without water for days, desperate for a drop of relief. No, no water, nothing, no. People in this community on Weibel Road near Panama Lane say their water went out on Tuesday. Well, no water came out. We can't do the dishes. Residents here say they can't shower and can't flush their toilets. Instead, they have to scoop water from the complex's pool, then walk back home, often braving triple-digit heat, and then... They can finally use the bathroom. Residents say their property manager dropped off 30 gallons of bottled water to each house Wednesday. Makes this situation a whole lot more bearable. Property manager Mark Ingram says the water woes started a month ago when plumbers said the well was going dry due to the ongoing drought. I quickly realized that I had no other option but to go to the city of Bakersfield uh, and connect to their water service. He says the city of Bakersfield took nearly a month to install a water meter, a crucial step to get water flowing, and it could take another month to install a permanent water line. So Ingram says he hired contractors for a temporary solution. They are going to show up tomorrow morning. Uh, first thing, they're going to connect the um, temporary water line, and as soon as California Water turns the meter on, uh, the water will flow to the residents. He says this project should have been completed weeks ago, potentially avoiding an outage. The residents have every right to be upset. If they want to be upset with somebody, then let them be upset with the water district. Because nobody can explain to me why it took 30 days to get a water meter set. When they knew, when they were advised that that well was going dry. Meantime, Cal Water says setting up service usually takes months rather than weeks, but water should return as soon as Friday. A typical service like this takes somewhere around two to three months. It's not uh, realistic to, to, to be able to just go out and, and cut a hole in a street and start laying a service line. We have to understand what's underground there. Are there other utility lines? All these steps are laid out to protect uh, public health, and, and we have to follow all those steps. We'll update this story as soon as we learn more. In studio, Moses Small, 17 News.